and a compass and we're lost. Must be horrible to be hunted. Shouldn't try to escape from prison then. Should he, Timmy? I wouldn't like to spend a night on the moors with no sleeping bag or tent. Or food. <laughs> we better get a move on. What's the time? Two o'clock. No, it's not. It's half past five. You always forget to wind your watch up. Come on. We've got to find Blue Pond Farm before dark. There's the road. Time, followed by a nice week of blisters. You ought to try wearing two pairs of socks, George. I do. It doesn't make any difference. Hello. Have you seen a man wearing a dark grey suit with a blue and white striped shirt any time today? The escaped prisoner. That's right, son. All we've seen is police cars. Do you think you'll catch him? We've got the moor on our side. Where are you lot up to? Blue Pond Farm. You're not, you know. It's over there, towards Beacons Ridge. Thanks. Uh, if you do see Williams, keep away from him, OK? And give us a ring when you can. Mind you, you should be safe enough with him. Timmy could deal with any convict. I bet he could. Well, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. It's a good thing we met them, or we'd have gone five miles in the wrong direction. Sorry. Doesn't matter. Come on. Right, you can feed in this area. You, take your job, up through there. Right, yeah. yep. I should go up through there. Oh, I've had it, Julian. I really have. We'll never make the farm before dark. Oh, come on, George. We've got to keep going. What about that farm? Okay, let's go see. He must be hungry, no? <laughs> Sounds as if we found this place just in time. Oh, what's for supper? Oh. oh, sausages. No, Timmy. Um, baked beans. Shift over, Timmy. Oh, and here's some orange juice. Oh. Good night. 
early start in the morning. Not too early. Good night. Sleep tight. And mind, mind the bed bugs don't bite. <sighs> Message from Naylor. Two trees, gloomy water, saucy Jane. Here. Maggie knows already. I gave her the other one. Okay? I'm off. Williams? 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 Where's he got to? Waiting. Who must? You're not going to believe this, but that escaped convict came here last night. And what's more, he gave me a message. You were dreaming. Watch this then. He threw it to me through the hole in the wall. Dickie said, are you in there? Didn't mean you. Of course not, but I was half asleep. Who is it, I said. Williams, he answered. I bet you were scared. Wouldn't you have been? Anything else? Yes. He said something about this message from... Nails or someone. No. No, it wasn't Nails. Naylor! That's it. And... Uh... Oh, no, I've forgotten. Oh, come on, Dick! Trees. Two trees. And a gloomy river. And... Saucy Jane! Saucy Jane. And he said, Annie knew. No, not Annie. Maggie. Maggie knew, and he'd give her the other one. Other what? I don't know. Other one of those maps, I suppose. What does it mean? Then just as I was going to sleep, another man turned up. How long did he stay? I don't know. I dropped off. If Williams had a message from Naylor... Naylor must be someone in prison. You better get dressed and then we'll go and tell the police. Stop! Please! Hey, stop! Stop! Please stop! Yeah, we saw the whole thing. He gave me a message. One at a time. Now, what happened? Dick saw the convict. And when was this? Two o'clock this morning. Now, you were dreaming, son. 
but I... Williams was captured. 11 o'clock last night, just outside Allison Station. So you couldn't have seen him three hours later, could you? Uh, but Dick saw him. Never mind. He's in prison, so you don't need to worry about it. So happy night, eh? Sorry, Bobby. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Bye. But it was two o'clock. Still is. Your watch stopped two o'clock yesterday afternoon. Don't you remember? You didn't wind it up. So when you looked at it last night, it still said two o'clock. So the real time must have been, well, before Williams was recaptured at 11. What? Let's go and explain to the police now. No, it's no good. We'll just have to solve this mystery ourselves. Gloomy water. Not river. Gloomy water. Right. That's what William said. Well, do we go there? What do you think? Gloomy water's a good name for it. It's a bit creepy. Two trees. Gloomy water and saucer Come Jane. On, boy. Come on. Come on. Do you think something's Come buried on. under the two trees? Which two trees? Look! <gasps> Great. Come on. Let's leave these here and have a look inside. Blackened walls. This is two trees. This house. But what are we looking for? I'm not sure. Loot. Whose loot? Naylor's. When he knew that Williams was making a break for it, he gave him the message to tell the rest of the gang. Dick, Maggie, and Saucy Jane, where the stuff was. That's not bad. I think they're coming in. Quick, hide! Okay, Maggie. This is it. I don't see why we're being so careful. I'm not sure about Williams. Waiting for ages at the barn. Why didn't he show up? Probably be nicked by then. Yeah, maybe. Seems okay. Right. Let's see if the diamonds are there. Of course they'll be there. Come. The lake's at the back. What's up? Nothing. <laughs> it's an old boathouse. George! 
George, come back. Let's go and look for the saucy Jane. Is uh, that thing safe? Of course it is. Who's there? What do you want? They've got George. Excuse me, I'm a bit lost. I wonder if you could tell me the way to Ellerton. Well, it's quite a way to Allerton. Oh, no, really? Look, you take that path up there. Across the hill, you'll be in Allerton. And be off with you. Thank you very much. Thanks, so Bobby. It's all right. I said I was lost. It's the saucy Jane. It's a boat. In there? No, they said something about going to look for it. Look! Where's that piece of paper from Williams? I know where the saucy Jane is. Where? Look. These four are marks of some kind. This is a lake. There must be one spot here where you can line up on the markers. And that is where the saucy Jane is. And that's the middle of the lake. And that's where they're heading. They're lining up on the markers. Can you see the saucy Jane? Of course not. She's at the bottom of the lake. What? You'd hardly need a map to find her if she was anchored in the middle, would you? They found her, I think. There she is. Oh, this saucy Jane. Oh, fantastic. Come on. She's quite deep. Quicker to get the scuba gear. He's using a balloon as a marker, boy. Why? I wonder what he's going to do. Down it could be. they up to? I don't know. Let's get that boat. Do you think it's safe? No, I don't. Not for the five of us. Hey, what's that? A raft. Looks okay. Better than the boat. Easier to dive from, too. Die? Come on, Dick, let's get it launched. Life jackets. Go and stick them on. Right, let's go. Come on, Dick. Okay, just coming. There's a waterproof bag down there. But we couldn't fix the rope to it. Well, we're going to. 
What? Who are they? That's a dino. They're diving for the stuff. Nailers double cross me. the children? In the cells. In the cells? Oh, don't worry, Professor. They'll be back in a moment. They're just having a tour of the place. They found the Felonia jewels, which is more than Interpol have been able to do for the last six months. Good heavens. You are an incredible lot, aren't you? Just a quiet weekend on the moors, you said. I know we did, but we didn't promise. <laughs> <laughs>